I heard you wanted to talk a little bit about the Darnell situation. Darnell. Which one is that? That's Darius. Wait, that's not his real name, is it? No. I oh. just call him Darnell because I think it's funny. Well, what's up? Well, I, I heard that you, you had some question like more specifically i heard that you were just like fuck it i don't want to watch like nine hours of video so you wanted to talk to me or him oh um uh yeah I, it's not there's no i guess it's not much to talk to you about he needs to um he's still talking to grace isn't he uh i don't know i mean i don't have my eye over his shoulder and looking at his dms but if i had to guess i would say yes i think uh this is my worry with the current trajectory um, here, this is why I feel like it's, um, I feel like it's not going to end. The issue is that Grace, uh, really wants to be involved in the stream because Ben really wants it to be, uh, Ben is using you guys as kind of like a proxy to get closer to my community because Darius has a lot of viewers. For some um, reason, I believe on it, but not Shank. Grace now a simp? is going to listen to whatever her dad says, like with no exception whatsoever. Um. And then Darius, I think, is going to permanently follow Grace to the ends of the earth. Like, if Grace were to message Darius right now, be like, listen, I think I was a huge asshole. Like, I'm really sorry about everything. Like, the moments we had together are really special. Like, can we try again or, like, hang out or even, like, you know, whatever. Like, do you think Darius is really saying, like, no, sorry, I don't think that's a good idea? No, no, I think I think it would be uh, very amenable towards her if yeah. she, she did that. Yeah. You know, and I had a conversation with him one-on-one -on -one after the panel thing mm -hmm. that you saw and i asked him that question specifically and of course his his response was like no i wouldn't do content or whatever with her but my main... i think he still oh, go ahead. okay you said i, I think, think he still... still wants to do uh stuff in vegas or something he wants to do like a vegas stream with her or something yeah so <laughs> it's just gonna keep repeating itself right probably to, to some degree. Usually this thing loops for a while. He's done it a couple other times. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think that... Uh, I think the... The only hope that I feel that there is is communicating to him how he's like losing friends over the situation. And when I tried to communicate that to him, it felt like there was some headway. Yeah, but like, um, who is, which friends are, are he, is he losing? I, our, our, our roommate. Who? Cool. Our roommate is like fed up. He's he's done. Wait, uh, who's the roommate? Uh, Zella. Oh okay. Oh, he's actually leaving. No, he's he. I don't I don't want to yeah, I don't want to get necessarily into any specifics or whatever. But he's he's very fed up with it. Damn. Um, yeah, he's. He's past the point. Not, not only him, but also other people uh, are becoming like just they're just done. They get they have to emotionally check out because he's doing it to himself. Mm -hmm. So communicating to him that he's losing friendships over this is, I think, gonna. Did he do talk well to you him. before this last trip? Did he talk to you about like the whole plan that he had? Uh, yeah, he he filled me in on like several different plans. Yeah. Did, it, did any of these get talked about publicly, or is it all still stuff that was in the background? Uh, it depends on which plan. He, he changed his plan like nine different times. <laughs> okay, true. Um, Jeez. Yeah, I don't, where is he at right now? Uh, he's in the house. He's just socially overwhelmed and doesn't want to be on the stream. Oh, okay. Uh, and so he just, yeah, he wants to kind of... I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what his headspace is with um, this stuff going into the future. I'm trying to move on and just do different content with different people mm -hmm. and just, uh, you know, be done with these people. But, you know, I wanted to be done with them at the very least until uh, after Rhode Island. And yeah. So. Oh, I guess one uh, of the questions I had was why did he get into that call at all with Ben? Oh, uh, the call. So originally the idea was I was going to go into the call to talk to Grace about what happened, where, uh, you know, what she did and why she did it and, you know, uh, the effects on like other people. Mm -hmm. 
and then he just randomly joined. Gotcha. Um, you should do whatever you can to keep Darius away from Ben, because Ben that Ben guy will mind fuck Darius. It will happen, not on his mm-hmm. own. And Darius probably thinks it won't happen on his own, but he will do it through grace, and he will be successful. Like it, I don't know if Darius was aware of it, but it was already happening in that conversation where at the start, like Darius was incredibly hostile and aggressive, but like he started to take it more seriously and was like answering his questions and was going back and forth with him. Like I think that that. Um, that Ben guy could absolutely mind fuck Darius if Darius like just keeps joining without yeah any regard for his mental well being. Yeah, so I wanted to ask some questions about that because I at the at least the start of when you were covering it, you or at least I saw mm-hmm. some of you cover it. You said that like, why did I allow Ben to to have the airtime and do that kind of stuff and. Yeah. Shit like that, and the problem was. Oh, not even. Um, when I'm thinking of this right now, I'm not even thinking airtime. I'm just thinking in terms of like Darius surviving. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and, like, and that compounded. Air. That compounded into my mind because I was treating it like a debate mm-hmm. a little bit. Sure. Um, when I shouldn't have, uh, because I was like originally at the start, I was like, I don't want Ben here. I I just don't want to talk to him. I don't care to talk to him. And then Darius joined, and then he was it, like at one point you started engaging with him and I was like, okay, I'll I'll let him talk and stuff because I think that's, you know, he can make his points and then I can make my points and I was treating it too much like a debate. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to have a conversation and at least based on what I saw, you had an issue with that. I I want your opinion on how can I deal with somebody like that who's being manipulative in a situation like that and not have them just... Like, get away with being manipulative. Well, I think you can deal with it fine. I don't think there's a problem with you talking to him, but Darius can't do it, right? Yeah, yeah. It comes down to, especially when you're dealing with manipulators, a lot of it can come down to, like, these different psychological leverages that people can have on each other. Like, Ben doesn't have, at least that I'm aware of, he doesn't have any type of leverage on you to manipulate you or make you act a certain way. So, like, for you, it doesn't matter. But Darius is completely under Grace's thumb, and Grace serves at the behest of her father. So Darius has no chance of surviving a conversation like that with a guy that is clearly manipulative um right he just can't he can't he, there's no way because darius is yes. at the end of the day always like hanging off of grace's like every word and he'll do whatever he can to kind of like maintain that connection like even if he's yes. saying mm-hmm. like whatever i would never talk to her blah 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 like i can tell like every time grace is like oh no well maybe there's like you know maybe i could do something or maybe we can hang out again or blah blah like i know that every time she says that that like darius's heart is like thumping and he's like okay well maybe it's not completely over i guarantee you that's what's going on inside well you can you can even see it in the conversation he perks up and he starts like engaging and mm-hmm. uh like he starts smiling a lot more and stuff like that yeah um you can definitely see that inside of the conversation i saw that mm-hmm. but um the thing that surprised me actually is I was thinking along those same lines, and maybe there's something else going on in private, but towards the end of the conversation, it seems like it was of Grace's opinion that they should just not really interact anymore. Um, That would be surprising, but I didn't see the end of the conversation. Yeah, that's it it was rather surprising to me. She was coming to the conclusion that, like, she kept saying, like, I think your content isn't good for me and I don't think my content is like good for you. I just don't think we should really do this anymore. Which I found incredibly because I I was of the same mind as you. Um and now maybe she's being like rather sneaky about it. Maybe she was saying it because I was present and maybe in DMs it's completely different. Wouldn't surprise me a damn bit. Um but mm-hmm. yeah, like on the call towards the end of it, it felt very much like well, it's not even it felt like. It literally got to the point where she was saying, I don't really want to do content with you anymore. And Darius was trying to convince her that if she does content on her own, it will be bad content compared to the content that yeah. they could do together. One thing that Mr. Girl did really well, and one thing I saw Ben doing well, and I didn't watch it to the end of this conversation, so it's hard to say. Also, everything I say, just as my reminder, is this is all like very vague. And depending on how the conversation played out, what I'm saying might not um, might not apply at all. 
is people have this idea that abusers are somebody who will push, 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 push all the time. But a really effective abuser or manipulator doesn't just push constantly. They're very, very, very good at pushing enough to get you to a certain place and then pulling back a lot and then getting you to push the rest of the way. Um, yeah. If you watch my analysis of Mr. Girl's conversation with Lav, he was really good at doing that at basically pushing her to a point where he's like, well, but maybe you shouldn't do this. Well, maybe I don't want you to do this. And what, because he knew that Lav had fully bought into it and that she was ready to push the rest of the way. So it's possible that like Grace and Ben could get uh, Darius and stuff like that. You just have to be aware of it. But like, also, none of this really matters because the answer really should be that like Darius should not be interacting with these people at all. Like he's way, way, way too emotionally compromised to make good decisions and it leaves him vulnerable to um, like these types of manipulations. And, and I mean, like, obviously that's what the Ben guy does. I hope that's not controversial at this point. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I uh, absolutely. That's what I was. I was trying to communicate to him that. Uh, and now maybe you'll disagree, but I don't think he. We had a back and forth about um, like he should stop interacting with them, and a thing he kept bringing up that I thought wasn't valid was the idea that he shouldn't be like interacting with women at all until he solves these his like attachment issues. Um, you brought that up, or he brought that up? He he said that. Oh, I mean that's probably a little true, yeah. Well, my the, the the thing that makes me believe that that isn't necessarily the case is he has, like, had several women recently in his life where he's interacted with them in a completely healthy manner. Really? Um, Wait, who? Uh, like, uh, Elise. I'm not sure if you know who that is. I mean, like, for a um, long term or for a couple dates? Uh, I mean... He still interacts with Elise after, so, so like, four months. Mm -hmm. Here, this um, is, um, again, all this is vague anecdote. I don't have studies for this, okay? Just, these are just, like, random observations I have. I mentioned this earlier on stream, is Darius, to me, he seems like a fixer, right? He wants people yeah. to fix. And what a lot of people don't realize is, or, or, in my personal opinion, I feel like fixers, fixing, wanting to fix, comes from an area of low self-esteem. The reason why it feels so good to be a fixer is because when you found a person that needs fixing, they have a reason to want and need you. And it's like the best feeling in the world is when you found a broken, damaged person that's looking to you for like self reassurance or whatever. But it's because those people sometimes lack the confidence to just be in a normal relationship because they feel like they might not be needed or they might not be as important to the person as somebody that's broken and desperately needs that fixer. But I, I don't know, 100% of this applies to Darius, but like I know he seems to be in a lot of these types of relationships. But, um, yeah, something to keep in mind. I mean, he definitely, he definitely like seeks out these kinds of relationships. Like when he finds a woman that he considers to be like damaged and need fixing, mm -hmm. it, it definitely like just like a mega turn on. He they Sorry, like become a tent. This talk with relax. Um, Do you have uh, any interest? But in I think he's had. I know you say he's going through his drug thing fixing, and he's going uh, off the rails. And I'm worried about. Hold him. on, wait, wait, wait. He's, I'm sorry. So are thousands of others. What? I don't know why this guy just donated his life story to me. Okay, sorry. Say that one more time. That last one. Uh, he, he, yeah, so he's had relationships with women who haven't needed fixing, and mm -hmm. it seems like it's been, like, pretty fine. Like, there hasn't been any massive uh, or as big of an issue as there is with uh, specific people that he sees as, like... Does he maintain those relationships, or...? Yeah, I, th I think he had. I think the only times that the relationships haven't been, like, he's not as gung ho about the relationships. Like, he doesn't. He's not like falling over them. Like, the people he tends to fall in love with mm -hmm. tends to be people that are uh, need fixing. But he can like maintain, uh, at the very least, like some kind of a intimate relationship with some of these people for a while until they typically like drift away. Hmm. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay, so. hold on. What did this guy say? Sorry to interrupt with Relly. Do you have any interest in checking with Zerka? No, I'm not Zerka's fucking babysitter, okay? I can't do that. That's all on him. I'm not I have no interest in any of that. Yeah, um there was that I oh, I wanted to that. Sorry, go ahead. I wanted, well, now, I'm I wanted not sorry to for the the interruption now. kind of discuss how um you were talking about the uh, abuser uh, like relationship or whatever and how that works I think that he um, with these people I think he's capable of having relationships uh, with with people who are not um, or at least what he considers to be damaged mm -hmm. and I think he's able to like do that in a healthy manner but I'm trying to I think probably the next step for him is going to be like getting some form of therapy 
Um, yeah, maybe, yeah. What is this? If he wants to, yeah. I mean, it comes yeah, down to him I mean, actually feeling like he has a problem and wants to fix it, yeah. Yeah, of course. It's, it's going to be the only way that gets done. Mm -hmm. But I I think that there's been multiple people who have been very close to him in his life that have tried to get him the help he needs. And it la 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 la, I can't hear you. Like, th this, la la this thing where he does this, it, it's happened dozens of times. There's been dozens of instances of him having these conversations with me or other people and he's he's kept looping so it's just you know mm -hmm. I, I, people are at their wits end with what to do yeah oh you know that that nadouche guy is fucking insane right oh i wanted to discuss with you about that what what makes you say that i've just i've had select personal experiences i've seen him he seems like one of the people that like and also i could be wrong i just see and hear things he seems like one of the people that keeps those like side discords alive with just like insane interpersonal drama and insane behavior um i think i want to say he got banned from my stream for a long time ago because he was he came across as like actually schizophrenic like i think he made like 50 million accounts and would just like type the weirdest most unhinged fucking borderline schizo messages um in chat like the guy is absolutely fucking insane not in like a funny way but like in a probably crazy as fuck way but um I, it sounds like you've probably had good experiences with him so i just keep that in mind i'm hold on i will upgrade that i'm sorry i'm ca i'm caging my opinion way too much i i know he is fucking insane so i would just say be careful around him and don't trust him with anything because if he has the opportunity to flip on you or do like weird cloudy things or backstabby shit like i think he will always uh jump on that he is an absolutely fucking unhinged person but just yeah be careful you have experiences with him like doing like backstabby shit or yes. sorry you've seen him i well, yeah really yeah so i just uh just be uh, careful <clears throat> okay uh yeah i didn't i guess i wasn't aware of anything mm -hmm. like and being that. fucking unhinged in general but just be careful yeah, just saying and i and okay. i think the darius shit was like that was very clear that like, you don't buy the whole um him saying that like oh we just thought this would be good for you or any bullshit like that right Oh yeah, where he was like, I thought that um, he did it because uh, he like either, I knew what was best for you. Yeah, he whatever. either wants to fuck Grace himself, or he just thought it'd be funny to troll the fuck out of Darius. Like that's that was the only reason for all of that. There was no like ulterior motive here to like help Darius with anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I I think that there was definitely. I, I don't think that was the the honest situation and uh, i think that there might have been some emotions that he was going through to like and uh, maybe some like pride situation when he was being confronted by it that was like him just trying to throw shit at the wall to justify his actions because at one point he said that he wasn't being manipulated by grace and then grace just openly admitted to manipulating him yeah um, i think that one issue that's happening is um and i think i got this from darius too and listening to him is especially since grace is a woman and she's young and she's cute um it's actually incredibly rare as much as red pillars will have you believe otherwise it's actually really rare to run into women that are actually like psychopathic manipulators they don't they don't tend to do that it's usually like a man thing when you do run into a woman that can do it it is very 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 hard to deal with because as a man you are naturally just way more trusting towards women you never really expect it sounds weird but you never really expect that a woman could do some weird fuck shit like if you're online and some dude calls you like a racial slur or whatever like in your mind you've coded that person as male 100 percent of the time if somebody's being shitty right mm -hmm. like you, it's just always that's just like an assumption that you make as a man um always and, pro and probably even other women to some extent you tend you tend to just you trust women more they're, they're just come off as more trustworthy um i think that there are a lot of people around grace that think they're a tad more clever than they actually are and i think there are i i think and this is just like what i hear from darius and other people in the peripheral ever i think there's a lot of people around grace that think that they're clever enough to play her and they're fucking with her but she and ben are actually spinning them and they're not aware of it um yeah so i would say just be careful of that yeah because obviously you know that like our good friend dario thought he was going to be one of those it sounds like a couple other people were caught up in thinking that they were also playing her but in the end that's not at all what happened i think ben and it seems to be the case that at the end of this do you agree that ben and grace seem to have gotten exactly what they wanted exactly what they wanted yeah they got I'd content say, out yeah, of yeah, they got content yeah, out of darius much. a couple guys got mind fucked along the way they turned a couple people against each other they increased their viewership they got a funny as fuck story darius got stood up at dinner um i think did darius cover the hotel room and everything when they were down there uh no i believe they split it did they split okay they split it at least okay yeah but 
I would say that for the most part, and remember going into this, right, because you know, um, Darius has had schemed all sorts of different things and he thought he had like a really clever plan and everything going into it, but in the end, they got literally everything they wanted. They came out of this 100% of the mm -hmm. victors, despite all the planning and scheming and the multiple people involved and everything going on. Um, and it only happened because of all that leverage that Grace has on other people. This is why Ben can use her so effectively as a honeypot for people, right? Yeah, to be to be fair with the scheming bit on uh, Darius's end, I, uh, I was very surprised to see um, the change in demeanor that he had mm -hmm. uh, during that because, it, I mean, it was literally within a 24-hour period that he was, like, upset to, you know, I really like this woman. Yeah. And, like, making justifications for why not only making content but possibly being in a relationship with her was a good idea. Yeah, keep in mind, this is something I've said, too, is there's it's very easy to... Why do we care um, about this flower, Darius? It's very easy to bullshit yourself into something if you are, if you don't think a particular thing is actually happening or actually real. Um, let me give an example of this. When a guy is really obsessed with a girl or a girl really obsessed with a guy, if that relationship ends, sometimes the guy or the girl actually takes it, if they're obsessed with them, actually takes it a lot better than you'd expect them to. And it seems like, wow, well, maybe the person has just, they overcame their obsession, they're pretty mature, they're, you know, whatever is fine. Um, and that's maybe that's what it seems like on the surface is happening. But what's actually happened is even though they split up and that person's mind, they still kind of think they're dating and they really live that fantasy. They still talk to them, they're still friends. But where the yeah. actual disaster comes is when their ex-partner starts dating somebody new, then everything comes crashing down. So for Darius, it was probably easy for him to like not give a fuck and be cool about it and chill and blah, blah, blah. And it seemed like he genuinely didn't care, but that's probably because in the back of his mind, him and Grace ending up together at the end, that was a sure thing. He knew that was gonna yeah. happen. That was never actually a question. So when that, remember, most of the disappointment in life comes from expectations not matching reality. When that reality shifted dramatically from underneath him, that's probably when the emotional shift followed too. Because then it went from being like kind of a fun whatever thing where he didn't really care to like, wait a second, I didn't actually think this could have been one of the outcomes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's what it seemed like. And it was just weird to me seeing how easily it, it went back to the uh, to the original like I guess the original plan of like doing content and like doing mm -hmm. all that it's yeah. just which they can't right you understand that's not possible too they can't oh, yeah, just no, do no, like it's funny not... jokey content right yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't even think it's possible for them to really have much of any communication at all mm -hmm. um, it's just gonna loop again uh I guess from maybe you don't have any suggestion, but from your position, do you have any suggestion for what like I should do? Nope. Um, I think that there are ways to help people in these situations, but it requires like long term compassion, care, um, willing to let them fail over and over again, a lot of support mentally, emotionally. Uh, I I don't have the battery for that. I, I mean, like if you want to do it, like you can, but it's just like there are some people. This sounds really mean. I don't mean it to make it sound this way, but there are some people that are like lifelong projects and they might never improve. Um, that's, I, I personally, I don't have an interest in it. So I don't, I don't know how to advise it. If somebody like wants help with something or genuinely wants advice, like I can be the best, most supportive person in the world. Cause when people want help and stuff, it's really fun to move into that mode and to help somebody better themselves, improve themselves, figure out a problem or whatever. But a lot of the times the issue you have is people don't even recognize there's a problem. And if they don't recognize there's a problem, they're not gonna wanna fix it because what is there to fix if there's no problem? Um, and then it's like, why even, yeah, why waste your time? That, that's just me, but. Yeah, I think, I think some, some people, uh, that are, I knew who were close to them are, are of the mind where they're just like, yeah, they're, they're just fed up. It's just too much. They've tried the calm, patient, compassionate route for a while, some of them years, mm -hmm. and it just hasn't worked out. And so it's just like too much. Yeah. Um, and maybe I'll be one of those people soon. Maybe I will be, but yeah, I don't know. He's, uh, uh, we'll, we'll just, we'll see at the very least until the, uh, lease is up. We'll see what happens. So, well, yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, last, last quick question here. Um, 
in the because I know you were talking about the abusive uh, person, like what I could do to avoid it. What what do you think I could have done in the call with where Darius, Ben, and Grace were present? Should I have been just trying to keep it on the rails, or should I just been trying to shut the whole thing down as fast as possible? I mean, like you, yeah. I mean, like you've seen the movie Seven, right? I actually haven't. No. Oh fuck. Um, if you have a person that that is that emotionally compromised, uh, this is something I said earlier on stream. Is some people delude themselves into thinking that being mentally strong means that you're not affected by anything. What it actually means is recognizing your limits because everybody has them, and to pretend that you don't have them means that you're not aware of them, which makes you susceptible to bullshit in the future. Uh, Darius cannot be in the same room as Grace and act reasonably, and to put him in the room with Grace and a manipulator means that he's always going to get mind fucked every single time. So the as much fun as the content is, and I might even indulge in it because I don't, at the end of the day, it's just that for me. But like realistically, if, to take into account his well-being, um, I don't think he can ever be in a room with Grace and Ben. That should just probably never happen. He could try a one-on-one -on -one combo with Grace, but unfortunately, I don't know if he's capable of parsing Grace's thoughts from Ben's implanted thoughts in Grace. Um, because it seems like Ben is really good at getting Grace to believe things that she then tells Darius that Darius thinks are coming genuinely from her, but they're not. So I, I would say where Darius is at now mentally and emotionally, he should probably just never talk to Grace ever. There's just no point in it until he's like fixed whatever compulsion he has with being a fixer, I think. Okay. Um, let me just double check with Darius if he wants to say anything. Sure thing. Before, uh, Wait, what the uh, fuck uh, is the event that I'm looking for here, guys? Event is nearby. Do what? You're, oh, yeah, true, good one. Is it this thing? No. My... Am I retarded? Where the fuck is... This quest is bugged, abandoned it, abandon it? Wait, can you, you, why would you abandon a quest? Can you even do that? Uh, okay, yeah, he, he doesn't want to talk. Wait, uh, I did remember the last, last question. Um, there was people saying that you were talking about uh, exiling him if he uh, continues interacting with Grace because you believe that uh, oh yeah, ben something that I would be uncomfortable with is it. yeah, Ben's goal is to grow off of larger communities and I would feel yep. weird like embedding Darius' stream as he continues to interact with Grace because I know that's what Ben wants. Obviously I can't dictate Darius's behavior, but I don't think I would be keen to lend my fan base to Darius to enrich Grace who's just being manipulated by Ben right, who's like the puppet master um, yeah. I'm actually I, I'm, I'm glad that you brought that up because I've been trying to tell him kind of something similar mm -hmm. about like how they're they're just here to get you know the numbers the audience and things like that they, that's the literally the only reason why they're engaging with you if the numbers were reversed they wouldn't even be talking to you mm -hmm. um, and uh, and so yeah I, I think that's a good idea I think yeah I I just wanted to make sure that that was true. I, th I think that is a good plan. Yeah. I think that's better for everyone. Probably, yeah. But... Okay. Uh, much love, brother. Which love? Wait, later. what? Much love. Oh. I'll talk to you much later. Much love to you, too. Be careful, buddy.